So Ken's take on relationships, another aspect. Remember this, think about getting out before going in. So what do I mean by that? A lot of the times people get into relationships and they go in, but they don't think about getting out. Meaning that nobody goes into a relationship, um, whether it's a marriage or, do you know what I mean, just a casual relationship, thinking it's not going to work or thinking we're going to break up or you don't go in with that type of thinking, obviously, because you're being positive. It's all, oh, I love it. the first sight initially. Everyone's all like, oh. And then, so at that point, you're not thinking it's going to go wrong. You're not thinking about the breakup. You're not thinking about what happens if it doesn't work out or if it goes wrong. So, so Ken's take is think about getting out before going in. What does that mean? It means like, don't get so sucked in that when it doesn't work or if it doesn't work, you're like, oh, I didn't think about this. I didn't think about that. I oh, only if this, oh, I saw the red flags. Like, but at that time, it's like, all right, if you saw the red flags and you were thinking about going in before you went in, would you have gone in anyway? So... Thinking about going out is to realise that, like with anything, whether there's a business venture or whatever, you have to think about the exit plan. You know, are you still going to be able to function if it didn't work out? And um, most people won't think about it like that because, like I said, no one thinks about failure. They think about success. But it's worth thinking. This is where the whole notion of pre not uh, nuptial agreements come in because people are like okay and you hear this a lot on the social media um what are you bring to the table and it's like okay if i'm bringing nothing to the table and someone else has got everything if you're thinking about the exit plan or the going out it's like if you came with nothing and you leave with a the lot then that obviously can be seen unfair to the other person so if you're thinking about going um getting out before going in is you're gonna think um again it's not about 50 50 right it's about you bringing a hundred percent of yourself and the other person bringing a hundred percent of themselves because this 50 50 thing doesn't work because you can never really have 50 50 equal amounts of everything you know what i mean from both parties so I know people will say that's why we say 50-50 to make it 100, but I'm saying, like, if you're bringing 50, that means you're expecting someone else to give you the other 50. Whereas you should be like, I'm okay by myself with or without the other person. And they should think the same. So when you come together, you're, you know what I mean, you're, you're both okay. And so, yeah, it's really the whole take is to think about, okay, when or if it doesn't work out, did you think about the things that you're now complaining about? Like, oh, but I, you know, I, I, I gave you everything. I put everything in the basket and now I'm left with nothing. So, yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about when I'm saying think about getting out before going in. And that's just my take. It's a Ken's take. You don't have to accept it but it's my take um on my experience over the years of of many 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 things that i've um you know i've been fortunate enough to experience so think about you should be okay going in and should be okay going out the ideal situation is that it works out and you all live happily ever after together and it all works out but a lot of the times that's not what happens and sometimes you have to go through these experiences because it, it prepares you and makes you stronger for the next situation so my take is um, yeah think about getting that before going in second take